surfing is probably one of the purest sports in terms of harmony with nature. Together with the ever-changing natural elements, it also makes it one of the most photogenic activities. Listen to the story of one of the most respected surf photographers in the sport, Sean Davey. Hi okay, I'm Sean Davey, I'm from Tasmania, Australia. Anyway, I've been doing this uh, gig we call surf photography for nearly 30 years. I shoot for magazines all over the world pretty much. I'm, I'm much, pretty much my own man, so I just, you know, there's mags in Japan, France, America, Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, England, Germany, Brazil. I've got my fingers in a lot of different pots, but that's the only way to make it these days as a photographer. It's tough. I really like to go places where others aren't going, or maybe you haven't even been. I find that really interesting. When you're traveling and you haven't been somewhere before, and especially if it's pretty unknown, it's always something really special about that. Tasmania, where I come from, it's a very wild place, very beautiful. It's a very inspiring place for, for anyone who's visually motivated like myself. It's, it's, it's a truly awesome place to be. And uh, the surf there is, I've always known how good it is, but I had a hard time convincing the world that Tasmania was a good place for surfers until they saw Shipsterns. When you think about it, Shipsterns being the big, huge, brutal beast that it is, 95% of surfers aren't even going to be interested in that place. But yet there are hundreds of perfect waves in Tasmania, other than shipsterns. I mean, shipsterns, it is a freak. Sean is not just based in Tasmania, he actually travels the world. A special way for him is Chopu in Tahiti. The Polynesian super slab that has launched a thousand magazine covers and many of them were photos shot by him. So many levels have been set and reset at Chopu in the last six years. And in fact, it's gotten to a point now where it almost looks sameish. It's, it's, it's getting harder to be impressed by a new shoot there because they've pushed it so far. I'm sure there'll be those days that will happen that where they will impress us again, but they're gonna be further apart because it's gonna take a, a higher setting of the bar to keep impressing us. And Chopu above any other wave in the last five or six years has done that. To be sitting out there in a boat at Chopu, especially for a first timer, it's a pretty horrific experience, especially if it's big. Like, if it's only six foot, oh well, you know, you're sitting in a boat and you're away. You get out there, it's like 10, 15 foot, just bombs, and you're so close to it in a boat. It's like, it's a very unnatural feeling. But you're there fighting that, that uh, urge deep down that wants to make you jump out of the boat and swim away, but sometimes it's actually, it's actually a necessity because the boats themselves do go over. Sean also has a favourite target in front of his camera. And I really dig shooting the legends. I love to shoot the legends because a lot of them still have the style that they had back in the day. They're really quite good, fascinating to watch. And I like to document that because I know they're not going to be around forever. With his wide-ranging interest in the world around him, Sean continues to have the fresh enthusiasm and creative ideas that are the mark of all great photographers, who recognize that their work is like an ongoing journey with no final destination. 